live near the suspect described Pena to WBZ as creepy. One woman claimed he had followed her as well. WBZ's Jim Smith picks up the story tonight live in Charlestown, where there is a lot of relief in that community tonight. Jim? Well, Paula, there is some relief, but there's also a great deal of anger being expressed tonight toward that suspect, and there's also real concern for Olivia and what she must have gone through. An incredible ending to a terrifying situation. Police say Olivia Ambrose was found alive here inside one of the units of the Bunker Hill housing development. She was taken by ambulance and is now being evaluated at a local hospital. Absolutely the best ending you can ask for as a parent and family member and everything like that. At 3 this afternoon, police swarmed the area of Walford Street. They closed down this section as dozens looked on in shock. Thank God. Well, I want to know who, who is holding her. Who do I live near that would do something like that? It's scary. Earlier today, police released this new picture of the man they were looking for in connection to Ambrose's disappearance. Do you recognize him? Yes, I do. He He's, lives right here? He, yes, he lives in this building. Have you had any interactions with him? Is he... Last year, last year he was following me, my daughter, stalking. It was in the summertime. He followed us that way. So you were afraid of him? Yes, because uh, he was like, he looked like crazy. Ambrose's phone records show her phone was last pinged in the general area of the Bunker Hill housing development. Now she's been found alive. It's great. It's great to have good news. Good news. Good news is always good. This place was really in an uproar earlier today. It's safe to say that right now, residents here are still trying to process all of this. Live in Charlestown, Jim Smith, WBZ News.